Oh. Uganda banned Facebook back in 2021 for interfering in their politics and deleting some high official accounts. And, you know, Uganda, the Uganda government was not very happy, was not very pleased with what Facebook was doing. So they were banned from 2021. And it has been the same. Nothing has changed. In fact, um, Museveni, the president of Uganda, was saying that if Facebook acts right and become better, they might allow them uh, back in Uganda again, like going forward. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon because now there's a new issue. There has been an account on Facebook that was verified by Facebook claiming to be the Ugandan government, which it's not because, you know, they have back what? Facebook and a post was made using that account and the government heard about it and now they're actually calling out Facebook. So this account actually has 50,000 followers and Facebook verified the account, even though it didn't belong to the government of Uganda. So the Ugandan government after this made a statement and they said the only authentic account of the government of Uganda is on Twitter. This is definitely not looking good for Facebook. And as you know, Facebook and Instagram are the same company now. So even on Instagram, there is an account claiming to be the Ugandan government. And that one is even funny because it misspelled Uganda. They didn't even take the time to get it right. And as a huge organization... They did that on purpose so that they couldn't be sued. Verify them. Like I thought, when you verifying an account, you actually verify. Like you, when you have that check mark, don't they go through the applicants? Like, do, are they really who they claim they are? Don't they need documents, IDs? Like, no. how do they just allow an account to claim that there's someone and allow them to communicate to millions of people? So this definitely shows a gap that Facebook is not filling in and Facebook is being sued in Kenya, Facebook is being sued in Ethiopia and now with the way they're moving, they might even get sued in Uganda because this... Okay, uh, she's going to finish, but uh, how hard is it to cross your I's and dot your T's as a big company? I understand you can't control the smaller accounts, but to bigger accounts, to stuff like this, it's someone you're in trouble with. Now, I'm actually proud of these other countries because they are keeping back gentrification. And I'm going to go a little bit more into it after she's done. Yeah. And they actually gave them the check mark, which gives them legitimacy that account can do and say whatever. And if Facebook cannot explain how they got misled and how they give that blue check verification mark they're going to be in more trouble lawsuit after lawsuit facebook is just in a whole lot of mess in africa in recent years and okay um i i want to save this for another video but I, i'm gonna just start saying it at most uh, i'm gonna just start saying it <laughs> when it comes to most of these videos uh first of all other black countries good job holding back gentrification because ultimately when it comes to gentrification it's a soft power way of controlling and manipulating the people i'm be honest what they've done to the black people aboriginal indigenous black people here i keep saying black because it's a new term not because i accept it i don't accept it but it's just a new term because there, there's no overlapping term for malinated people. Black is just the easiest way to uh, put it all together. And e even when it comes to white, if you look into the history of the word white, uh, white is meant to establish class and power. It's not, it's not exactly held by race, but it is meant for the benef benefit of light-skinned people. Like, if you look, the Republican Party made up white. But when it comes to what they've done to alienated people here, Black people here, they do not care. They want us to be a permanent underclass. And when it comes to the Black indigenous and Black aboriginals, let me make one thing perfectly clear. 
they took our land and they're going to take your land if if they convince you guys they're going to try to use the same tactics that they use here by using uh the women to destroy the community from within and if you can't hold the line they'll destroy you look i i, I that's it that's all to it all are out i'm, I'm gonna go ahead to the next one but i'm gonna stop this first yeah.